hopefully nice and crunchy. They've been nagging us. Those I could go for. So summertime cruise. Yeah, that would be super fun. I think the water's probably way too cold for me. I don't want to, I don't want to even try because then the sand will stick to my shoes and well, yeah, you know that's really high on the list of things that I just cannot stand. This is when I have a dilemma. I genuinely feel like my goals for visiting the island have been satisfied, more than satisfied. And maybe it's time to go back to the ship. There is the beach, but like I said, with two ships here, it is, it is crowded. So for me, it looks like a crowded beach. And I can go to very uncrowded beaches quite easily. I think I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I don't know what else I would do here. I feel like I'm missing part of the experience. Maybe I should lay out by the beach for a little bit, but again, I know I've said this a hundreds of times maybe. Well, okay, a couple dozen. <laughs> yeah, laying by the beach. It's something I can do literally five minutes. You know what? Not even a 20 minute walk from the palace. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Let's head back. I may have uncovered another conspiracy. Hmm, very interesting as to why the drink package does not work here on the island. Why they make you pay for the drinks. Here's the thing, I have observed in my life that if I am imbibing very responsibly, of course, and it is outside, like on the water, on the boat, at the beach or whatever, that I can consume noticeably more <laughs> than I would like on land without honestly feeling any effects. So it makes sense that they don't take the drink package here because A, people would like blow through it in a couple of hours. I know I would. But since you don't really feel it as much, you have to buy more. Hmm, okay, I'm onto something. All right, cruise lines, cruise lines, you know, try to hide it, but we're gonna figure it out eventually. Goodbye, fair pirate ship. It is time to head back. It is getting noticeably quiet around here. Figure everyone wants to beat the rush, which means the rush could be now. <laughs> yeah, just my luck. You know what? Let's check it out. That must be it, but it looks like they have shut down. Well, yeah, I think it's 1.30, so that makes sense. And there's the definitive proof. I hear this is going to be the new $1,000 upcharge. And if you never noticed, the bathrooms are labeled gulls and buoys. I think that's so cute. And plus one, because technically that is gender neutral. I was so excited thinking that I was not gonna be, again, a victim of thin phobia, but it's a ladies small. Problem is, it's a very ladies cut. And yes, tank tops are cut differently because reasons. Yikes, the line wraps all the way around the store. I don't understand why businesses make it hard to take money. You would think that's the one part of the experience they want optimized, taking the money. So yeah, it always, I don't know, it's always very amusing. Pro tip, never go ashore at a tender port. Good timing for us, there are two lines, one for New Amsterdam, one for Rotterdam, and the one for Rotterdam, well, there was no line, and we are still moving. It's just like, listen to the land. All right. My mission is complete. I am the last guest for this tender. Probably standing room only, but um, I'm not complaining. Uh, yep, yep, that's it, last in line, except for uh, the crew. Oh boy. Now, this might mean I am also the first off. <laughs> first to get off? No, I, I, yeah, I did that joke already, sorry. Wow, they don't play. You step aboard and they go. Disney could learn something from this crew. Yes, and when we swing around, we're going to the bar, exactly. $10,000 mistake. Sand. They hate sand. 
check this out. Found these on my door. The note is reminding me that I have unspent credit. We will spend that. And we got this little sticker, but it's going right in a scrapbook that is this sailing nine day Southern Caribbean seafarer and the itinerary and Captain Werner. And you will see <laughs> January 9th at sea. That was supposed to be Aruba. And my theory is still the port put out bids to the cruise lines and Holland didn't want to pay. Or you know what, I, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say their bid wasn't enough. They might have earnestly wanted the port, but they were outbid by, by, uh, um, uh, who is it? <laughs> Morella? Tui? Um. It is a bright day here aboard Rotterdam and <laughs> the old top is open. Is she topless? Can we say that? Do you enjoy topless sunbathing on your cruise? What cruise line does it best? Do you have to go to Europe? Subscribe if I should do a thorough investigation of the topic. Well, actually, they're all topless. I did skip Nathan's at Coney Island. I think we covered this on like day one. So a hot dog might fit the bill. Pro tip, the hot dogs here are not for a grab and go. We are not going to enhance. Just checking the spread for sides. Ooh, a side of brisket? Yeah, I could do that. Chips. That, there you go, that is definitely an option. There is apparently a conspiracy theory that the fashion industry is shortchanging ladies' pockets so they don't use them. I get it, I think I think I found evidence because this thing is very long, but I, I can't put the phone back in my pocket because it's just, mm. Another pro tip, I don't think this screen automatically refreshes. I had to go back and come back in and it showed ready to pick up. Talk about lunch with a view. New Amsterdam, ugh, the life we live. Note to self, always make sure you have a red hat. The red hat, that would be super fun. Oh, I might have it for tomorrow, I know, because I get a lot of Frank Zappa, Freddie Mercury, and occasionally Super Mario. The hat is what usually does it. Our boat snack is one of the hot dogs. It's the first one from Dive In. It's mustard and fried onions. Hopefully nice and crunchy. And a nacho, and nachos basically, from the Mexican station. And a blue moon up here. They don't have the Howl 150. You gotta go, actually, I could have gone to one of the main bars. Here in the buffet bar, they only have the uh, standard menu items. Right, this is the Dive In dog from Dive In, well, Dive In. Okay, well, here we go. Is this the first time? Well, anyway. Mm. Mm. New Amsterdam just sounded the we're leaving you behind horn and she is pulling away from the island. It is past all aboard time. No announcements, so and again, plus five for the guest compliment here aboard Rotterdam. I'll bet we're out of here soon. Team Rotterdam, I guess Team Holland, still at the top of the food game. Very good. Dive in dog, highly recommend. I see why they went with the Nathan's brand hot dogs. It does bring a higher quality experience. You usually don't expect wieners like that, like squirt out juices, but this one was just like packed with all sorts of good stuff. And the crispy onions, I've said this before, added that just touch of texture that made the whole experience quite, quite satisfying. Anyway, I am gonna go and see if they have ice cream still. I've been watching a uh, new Amsterdam depart and maybe some gelato, but they don't have sprinkles at the gelato station today. Hmm, curious. Why buy the gelato when you can do this? Right, they've been nagging us since day two. I'm on track for a relatively stress-free, not happy, final night. I did start packing. All I did so far is roll all the dirties up into a pile on the bed, ready for the laundry bag. Hopefully, that will all fit in the big case, which I will definitely put out before midnight. Yeah, midnight, that's pretty awesome. Whether or not I put the other one out depends on the night. Everything closes so early, I might actually do that. So both will go, and then I'll just keep the clothes I'm gonna wear tomorrow in my stateroom. 
yeah, so that should work out uh, pretty well. I am here at Grand Dutch Cafe. I'm gonna try the pea stew. I only, this is only the second thing I've had here, not the fifth, the second thing. I miss it, ay ay ay. I will probably have a burger later because they are so good. Ugh, ay uh, yeah, up a dive in. Man, who knew, who knew Carnival would be dethroned? Who knew Guy Fieri would be dethroned by a, a non-celebrity burger? Oh well, oh, I got my one picture at one, one picture, and I used my travel professional photo credit. So I'm just gonna remind Holland again, like a very, very generous digital package. Yeah, that's, you kinda need that. Either way, my soup should be here soon, and then music trivia, 80s, then there is a show. It's the comedians, both of them. That should be good.